there it is. Let's go. Let's go. And finally here, one of these enduro helmet mount for the dirt bike videos. I'm super excited about this and it looks like it's got some tape on it. So first thing we got though is uh, on the side here, it tells you a little bit about it. What it says is, as an outdoor enthusiast YouTubers, we enjoy a wide range of extreme sports. We quickly, we quickly discovered the need for helmet-specific action camera mounts to help us capture video footage of our enduro rides. By purchasing this mount, you're helping to support our YouTube and other social media channels. Please consider following our store. So I will put their um, Instagram handles, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, all that fun stuff on there. So without further ado, so pop it up. The packaging is actually really nice too. Little cleaning pad there. A little bit of wrapping paper. Okay. Oh! Stickies. So we'll have to put that on the desk. And they actually give you a little screw with it too. Look at that. And of course, we have this. So this is the actual mount, which feels very, very sturdy. I didn't expect it to feel. It's like hard they said it was plastic in their video they have a video going over like everything on their youtube channel how they made it and all this and that um so if you want a longer video you can definitely check it out i'll put that link in the bottom as well but for this i just want to go over the unpackaging what you get with it um there's what the inside of the box looks like so um kind of goes over what you can do with it um also what i'm going to do is put it on my dirt bike helmet too show you guys installation unboxing and then we're gonna go for a ride afterwards. A little bit of background with these guys. Um, they started their business with this right when COVID hit. Um, they said they had some time on their hands. They just wanted a better mount than what was on the market. And I can totally agree with them why they wanted it because the mount I have is an Amazon special from China and it sucks. It moves around a lot and it's really always messing up and I can never get a really good shot. It's never super sturdy. So. That's what they wanted to do. They're out of Southern California. So they shipped me one all the way to Ohio where it is nothing but snow outside. I'm still gonna go for a ride. I gotta toughen up. Um, I can't be a sissy today because I gotta test out my new mount. Um, I'll also show you how I put it on, clean it, because it comes with a little cleaning pad and everything like that. <clears throat> so here's my dirt bike helmet. I know it's dirty and I'm getting dirt all over my desk. I want to show you guys that is my setup currently. Uh, nasty. Um, we're going to rip that off and then we're going to be putting on this bad boy, which is going to look so much better. Put this thing on. Oh my God. But yeah, so if you could see, there's like 10 extensions on there and it's all wonky. And then like when you're riding, it's like whoop, whoop, and then moves and we don't want that junk. We want high quality American made small business mounts for the best action shot possible. Yeah. All right, now we need to clean this bad boy. A little cleaning pad, a little wet wipe. I may need to just go hose this thing off. I don't know if this wet wipe is going to be enough. Also, that I'll show you. My, I saw my first attempt of mounting my GoPro to my helmet with a zip tie and a GoPro thing. My handy dandy knife. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Cool. I don't even know what this goes to. And with this, so. You can tell what he says he wants to when like to mount it the directions are you're supposed to pull it just apart and then like when you're pulling it apart just slide it on there now whoa all right and one thing to notice while i'm shoving this on they make these mounts specific so 
with each helmet it's different so they make these mounts specific so each helmet's going to be different you can't just buy one willy-nilly um, and expect them all to fit Um, I mean, some of them probably are universal if you want. Like, that's what I was going to do because I know they made them universal. I was just going to buy one and hope that it fit. But he was like, no, we have a specific one for V2, so you better buy that one. Or it's going to not work and you're going to be disappointed. So, great customer service there. So, while that drives, there's a couple other things I want to go over um, with this brand. So, the biggest thing being, this is kind of like a one-time buy kind of deal. If you break this mount, they'll send you a new one. There's a lifetime warranty on them, which is super cool. I don't think it's gonna break. If anything, the helmet's gonna break first and I'll have to get a new helmet. But in the case that it does or whatever, they will send you a new one. The lifetime warranty on anything, I'm a sucker for. So uh, I think that's super cool. So another thing with these, when they test them, they test them with 20 pounds of downforce when they pull down on these. Um, so you know your camera's not just gonna fall off all willy-nilly. Um, they wanted to make chin mounts because if you put your mount like on top of your helmet or something, it's not really like the best view and it doesn't look as gnarly as like you, when you tell your friends. So your chin mount gives you like that point of view, perfect, straight down the pipe. That's what I use in my other videos. I'm sure you guys can recognize that. So that's what we'll use. And uh, there's also plenty of room on this thing. Um, I'll probably put my GoPro on it and then um, show you guys some video of it, what it looks like with the mic that I have hooked up to it, the media mod, and the way the, the screw goes onto it. All right, so I got the new one mounted on. It's pretty sweet. There's so much room, like, behind here. There's no more, like, fussing in with trying to, like, finagle in my microphone because that's up underneath here that runs up through here. And there's no more messing around with that. It's sleek. It's, like, it nice. It matches your, my helmet, at least, because it's all the black. I don't know if it'll match all the crazy colored ones but as far as like sticking out as far as like like it isn't bad it's so much better than this one that just would run over here so that's the setup we got um that's a little bit further shot away if you want to see what it looks like again and then i'll clean all this up eventually once i get that figured out but for now i love the look of that it looks so much better so much better Oh, she's getting cold. All right. So I'm just going to go run to the gas station and grab a monster. I hope the wind noise isn't too bad. But if you guys want to check out these mounts, I will have the link um, to their website directly in my bio. Uh, I'll also link all their um, social media platforms so you can check that out as well. These guys have been really cool with me um, for sending one out. Let me test it out. I can't wait to take it out on the track, on the trails, do some off-roading with it and really put it to the test. Obviously, taking a little grom uh, down the road isn't going to do much for it. So, I also can't wait until they start making street bike ones. I might have to modify one just to put it on my street bike helmet because I like them so much. And then, uh, I don't have a solid set of mounts for both of them because my street bike helmet mount is pretty cool but the customer care and stuff that they have is nothing like this company was <laughs> by them See if we can get a better one. <laughs> ah! Alright guys, so it survived the wheelie test, I think. I mean, I, like I said, I didn't put it through too much abuse yet. But we're going through this year, and I can't wait, so... Um, thanks, again, uh, thanks again for watching guys. Um, if you liked it, drop a sub if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you guys are planning on starting your own YouTube channel and are going to be looking for a map. I can uh, see what I can drop that link for you. And we'll see you guys in the next one.